Hi, and welcome to another episode of Type with Me. In this episode, we will talk about TypeScript generate documentation. So first of all, you need to take a look at TSDoc. It's a doc common standard for the TypeScript language. It's yeah, very standard and very, very basic to uh, write your documentation for your APIs, right? So just give it a try. Um, for example, here we have TSDoc Playground. Just a very interactive way to write your documentation and to see how you can use uh, that documentation to your flavor. So play around with it a little bit and then you get yourself a little bit more familiar how this will look like within HTML or what you will generate out of that. Great. So basically I wrote a class here uh, which handles version numbers and it's just to show you a little bit how you can write documentation within TypeScript, right? So for that, I'm going to write some documentation about status. So um, this class keeps track of the version number of your application. And sometimes it's better to um, to keep to keep it small, right? So you can easily uh, do an enter and then just make your uh, comment compact. So this method prints out the current version number and that's it because it doesn't have any parameters and it also doesn't have any return types right so the next one you'll see has a return type so uh, we can write again some documentation explaining what the uh, method is all about so um, this method increases the version number with one and it returns the current version number. So with add returns, we uh, annotate the return type, right? We say that that it's that that is what we are going to return within that method, right? So the next one is change version. So for that, we again going to describe a little bit what this method is, and you immediately see that he says you have a parameter version. So with that, uh, we can say that it's um, the number that needs to be used as a version number. And also here we have a return type. So we say add return returns the current version number. Great. So now we have written some uh, documentation in our, in our class, right? So now what I want to do is generate uh, documentation out of this class. 
how are we going to do that and how can we provide uh, to other teams the right documentation so they can use the status class. So one of the tools that you can use to generate your uh, documentation out of your TypeScript projects is TypeDoc. So I really can uh, say that that's a nice tool. So that's also a tool that we're going to uh, use throughout this tutorial. So when we execute mpx time doc dash dash version, um, we will grab time doc and we will execute dash dash version, All right? So that's what he now is doing. So we see that he then uses uh, time doc version 042 with TypeScript 3.2.4, right? can very easily extend TS config with configuration for TS doc. So we will do that with the following options. Type doc options, mode modules, out docs. For that, we also need to uh, create a docs folder. We'll save this, All right? So now we can execute the following commands so that we can generate our uh, documentation, right? I'm very excited to show you what it, what the result is. So um, you will see. Great. So now here we have our documentation, right? index globals and then also some assets classes modules uh, great so when we now go to the index.html file we can go then to our index file therein we have one class named status so we can click on that and then we see here a property version a method is change version increase version and show version Right. When we go to the ver uh, change version method, we will see that we have here our explanation of our method. We see what parameters are, why we have a parameter version, the number that needs to be used as a version number, and the return number is the current version number. Same with increase and the same with show version. Right. So that's great. I hope you learned a little bit how you can create um, documentation and add documentation to your own project and generate these uh, documentation uh, HTML pages so you can distribute them throughout your other teams, right? So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there will be following more awesome tutorials like this. Thank you very much.